Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel and today we'll be learning about the future of business intelligence, augmented analytics. So the one question that comes to your mind is what is business intelligence, right? So business intelligence is basically data analysis over the business information to gain best insights out of the data. So it, are, it is basically the technologies and the strategies which are used by the businesses to know data analysis of the business information. An approach to do that is augmented analytics. So let's deep dive into the video and see what is augmented analytics. How did it involve? First, we'll be looking upon the table of contents. First, we'll be seeing what was the change in business intelligence that took over time we seeing the drawbacks of the traditional business intelligence that led to augmented analytics. What does augmented analytics actually mean? What is the workflow in augmented analytics? What are the benefits that we get from it? Who uses augmented analytics inside a business? What are the insights of the companies that have already used augmented analytics past so many years? And finally, the conclusion. So, Changes in business intelligence that took over time. Now, business intelligence was there with us since 1990s, wherein when people considered to gain information out of the business as important. So initially, there were no users or approximately less users in data analysis. Data science was siloed within the business and monitoring was very, very less. Then in 2000, as time passed, when people came to realize that gaining information is important, they used self-service business intelligence wherein they hired people to do some analysis over the data and get insights from that. Data science went more and more into the organizations. And then in 2017 came the blessing to all the businesses as augmented analytics. So basically, augmented analytics came up in 2017 where business was supported by AI and data science to know more about their own businesses. Next, we come up to the problems that led to augmented analytics. So the very first problem is the big data. Since data was very large, right? Taking out insights from that data was very tough task. Secondly, low data literacy. It was found that every person inside a business should get to know what are the insights? What are the outcomes of that data, right? So regardless of the expertise, everyone should know the benefits out of the data. So there was low data literacy in the previous one. Third, data preparation. It was found that 80% of the time that data scientists used to spend was in data preparation. Next was complex stories. Since, since data was so large, huge, and so was its complexity in the storage. And therefore, we needed time to process all those data. Next is time for insights. Since data was really, really huge, the time for taking out the insights of the data was automatically big task. What is augmented analytics? Augmented analytics was a term that was coined by Ms. Rita, Chindi, and Kali in the research Gartner research paper in 2017. Basically, augmented analytics an approach that automates the data insights using machine learning and natural language processing. So what does data insights mean? Data insights mean that you can gain reports, you can gain data via easy visualizations and dashboards using machine learning. What does machine learning mean? Machine learning is basically algorithms that dynamically learn up from the data and third using natural language processing which means that you can ask computer in the form of natural human language now here you can see a picture right where are where there are two salesperson right one from the sales department and one from the finance they have been asking the question in natural language what was the sales growth by uh, by average in last year and they are getting up the results in the form of visualizations which are easy to interpret and as you can see we do not need a, a data engineer or maybe a data analyst to 
randomly go in through the data and search for it we can use a salesperson or maybe finance who can get out get insights from the data so augmented analytics obviously improves the data literacy now let's see what is the workflow of augmented analytics so first we need to prepare up the data then we need to find the patterns in that data and third the last one is we need to share up the findings right so first we have to go through the preparation of the data with the help of algorithms and uh, which detect up the schemas the profiles and do some modifications and manipulations after all that is done we need models that can be used for our data in order to get relevant patterns from it and the very third is you know showing up or uh, narrating up the insights in the form of easy visualizations and graphs okay next we come up to the benefits of augmented analytics so one first benefit is obviously we get advanced insights out of the data now so earlier we used to get some little insights now we used to get advanced insights next is the faster preparation of the data since you already know that 80% of the time data scientists used to spend in preparing up the data which was really huge so uh, it automates this process next is increases data literacy now more and more people can get insights from the data irrespective of what expertise they are in next is reduced analytical bias so earlier what the people used to do they used to make some modification or assumptions on their own now this modifications and assumptions are being reduced next is uh, automated analysis which means that machine learning models automatically use the complex analysis to do their analysis next we have reduced time for insights obviously the time that now be reduced uh, uses it right so as you have gone through the slides before you must know the question answer to this question it is none of the specific department inside a business uses augmented analytics as a whole right it may be sales it may be hr it may be finance it may be marketing every one inside a business can use augmented analytics now we come up to the use cases of augmented analytics inside a business now these are the seven use cases that i have mentioned over here obviously there are more than these seven use cases and today augmented analytics is being used by most of the businesses in order to find insights out of their data so the first is augmented analytics can detect customer churn now what is this customer churn customer churn is basically all those customers which are most likely to leave their company then they can get to know the fraud mitigation that is um they have some algorithms which can detect the fraud that is going on inside the business next the sales and marketing augmented analytics tells them what is the most optimized approach to uh, uh, go for the sales and marketing then we have quality control which tells us what are the issues that can affect their quality of their product then we have demand planning which tells us the most optimized way for the supply chain production and distribution next we have the customer target which tells us about how can we go through and increase the customers in our range okay so last but not least human resource attrition which basically tells you about the tricks and turns wherein you can improve your hiring and screening process let's move to the next slide and see what were the insights that we gained from augmented analytics now companies have been uh, implementing this approach for last few years and uh, they have come up with the solution that 90% of the companies got positive outcome with the usage of augmented analytics approach um out of which 60% felt that there was increase in decision making in their companies and 40% had an increase in the efficiency of working in their companies right so augmented analytics was really fruitful for each and every company that implemented augmented analytics now let us see as an example here uh, of a company called edion which can use augmented analytics of course in its own company so what it needs to do is once after uh, deciding the pattern in that data it needs to share the findings now doing all the pattern in that data it needs to share the findings now doing all of that stuff uh, questions like these which have been mentioned here that what is the major factor for the increase in the sales or uncover the opportunities in the business growth in this year what will be the you know six months turnover of an employee so, uh, these questions can be asked so there are many uh, augmented analytics software that are present today in the world 
we can use any of them and you know get up the insights of the data that we have now finally to the conclusion of business intelligence the first is since we know that we live in the era of data and uh, now the modern businesses are focusing on data focused solutions right and these data focused solutions need analytical systems and ai assistance to make sense out of the data and so we are moving towards augmented analytics because it's the only approach which can give you data Uh, driven solutions uh, by using a uh, cutting edge technologies like ai ml natural language processing and thus we can you know make out best out of the data that we have at last i would just like to say that augmented analytics is the future to the business intelligence thank you